name is Lauren and this is my new videos. For those of you who don't know me, this is a new channel. I have recently only done this, so please be patient with my quality of the videos. But like my mum says, it's quantity, not quality. As you can see, today we are doing a popcorn face paint theme, like fairground type thing. And it's going to be similar to the candy floss one. So if you want to see some more like fairground themes, please comment what you would like to see. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the other side. Bye guys. First thing you are going to want to do is put your hair out of the way like we did in the candy floss. So grab our hair, grab our big clip clip, put it there and this bit, you're going to have to move that out the way anyway. So that's going to sit behind our ear. So what you are going to need also is your apron or an old t-shirt or an old top, whatever you don't mind getting dirty. Then for what you are going to need or colours and brushes you are going to need is the red, white, black and yellow Snazaroo face paint. It does not have to be Snazaroo. It can be any brand you like, this is just my preference. You are going to need a baby wipe, some water. Obviously I'm going to do this so you can see what I'm doing. And obviously I have my picture next to me. This is what I'm going to be showing you. I've done this one so now I'm doing this one. When I'm out I do charge people £2.50 for the popcorn, £2 for the candy floss. So now let's get started. So you're going to have to take your tops off of your face paints. This is not going to take two seconds. So there is that. Oh god, hold on. So there is that. And now you're going to go in with your black, but you're going to have to spray the bottle like that. Now with the black and the white, because I use them so much I don't spray them as much as I do that others because it does ruin them so then when you've sprayed you're just gonna go in with your brush pick up as much but as little if that makes sense as you can and we're gonna make we're gonna make we're gonna start to do the box now before you start this is not gonna be a actual like square box it is going to go out down and down so I will show you right now just nearly whack my laptop. So they're down. Across. And down. So put our brush back in the paint. So there is that's right I have messed up just a slight there so I will go in with my baby wipe and just fix that now you've got to make sure your lines are at least parallel similar type thing I'm just gonna go in with the baby wipe just get rid of that now I am showing you my mistakes so if you do them you know how to fix them so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our red, we're going to grab our red brush and the water and do that. So then we're going to go in with the brush onto our red. Now you need, like I said, as much as, as little as you want. But if it goes too runny, you will have to try and dry this and do it again because runniness does not work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to colour in our popcorn box if you've seen on the picture we are doing stripes now i prefer to go black white black white black white red white red white red white so you don't have to go red red then fill in the whites just in case the colors do mix There is our first red. Hopefully you can see that I have gone in line with 
the black. So what you do now is you grab the white, you grab your white brush, grab the water. Again, with the white, you spray far away and not too close. Just wipe that brush off before I dip. So now we go back in with the white. Pick up the white a little bit. What you want to do is like I do, I grab, I grab it all like this. So I scrape it all and I grab it, put it on the end and make sure it's on the end of my brush. I'm not sure if you can see that it's on the end. Well, it's meant to be on the end. That's on the end of my brush, but that needs a little bit more water. That's better. Sorry this is taking so long guys. So now we're going to go next to the bl black, next to the red, and go straight down. Now if it goes on the black, do not worry because we are going to go over that again. And this down here doesn't have to be perfectly straight because I do have a hack to make that straight. As long as the stripes don't go all wonky, you are fine. So just grab that there, just fix that, like that. Then go back in with that, see? Now go back in with the red, without dropping your brush. Go back in with the red. And we're gonna go next to the white. So we're gonna go down here. So there is that, but I just need to fix the bottom like that. So back with our white. I know it's a bit, you know, going back and forth and back and forth, but this is just the way I like to do it because it is so much easier. So back in with our white. So back in with our white and next to our red. Like I said, if it goes on the black like I have, do not worry, because we are going to fix that at the end. Sorry about that, that was a door slam. Don't know if you heard it. So back in with the red. Back in with our red. It's a very, very bright red, so I am very happy with that. So there was that red, and then we're going to do the last tiny little bit after we take our brush and wipe it off. We're going to do the last tiny little bit wherever the brush has gone. The last tiny little bit in white. So just going to grab that. Grab that. I have got a tiny, you can't really see it because it is bright, but I've got a tiny little bit of red in there. So I'll just get that out in a minute. So get the white. We're going to fill in that last tiny little bit there. So. If it goes pink, wait for it to dry. And you can fix that at the end, which I'm going to have to do because mine has gone pink. But whilst that is drying, we can go on and do the popcorn. So what you're going to need now is yellow i got this in bright yellow now snazaroo do do a pale yellow but this one is nice and bright don't know if you can see it there we go so now what you're gonna need grab your yellow brush mine's kind of gone a little bit wonky but you know we'll, we'll fix that so spray our yellow 
gonna have to spray that a little tiny bit more because for some reason this one's really really dry there we go just mix around just making sure you don't wreck your brushes I know that's a little bit hard so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make tiny little roundy cloudy type shapes so what I'll do is I'll show you on here So like that, and we're going to do that all along the top of this box. So there's the white, the white, the yellow. So now we're going to just go up just a little bit, not too much, because we're going to put some random popcorn around the eye, under the eye, next to the popcorn again. We're going to go up just a tiny little bit further. Sorry about that guys, I just had to move my hair out of the way. So there is our yellow, I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but hopefully when the black is around it you will be able to see, but I'm just going to go up one more just with a tiny little one. So it was up and around. So now what we're going to need is we're going to go back in with our black and outline the popcorn. So just when you clean your brushes, I'm not sure if I've said this already, but just slide that and do it that way. So back in with our black. Black, oh wrong way, <laughs> black and a black brush. Now with this one I would recommend spraying the brush and not the pot because we are going to be doing some thin lines. But I had to do spray, I had to spray my black because my brush wasn't picking up the water. What I tend to do, because I have an apron and I don't mind getting anything on it, if I have too much on my brush I just go along my apron just like that and just get the excess off. So, If you want to see a video on all my face painting like things and paints and brushes and stuff, let me know and I will do a video on that. So now we're going to go around our popcorn and let me show you right now. So like so, we're going to do that again, next to this one, if the black goes a little, if the black lines go a little too thick, do not worry, it just may look a little bit different to everyone else's, that's all. So we're going to go around, if, if you've just done a massive yellow cloud, just randomly pop your pop popcorn, <laughs> randomly place your popcorn in that cloud, so like I have. So, like that. So, hopefully, you can see the popcorn now. So, just put a bit more water on that. So now we're going to go around the outlines on the out one, on the ones that is not on the box. If you go near your eye, be careful. All you've got to do is just random little cloud shapes. Just tiny little, just think of them as yellow clouds. Just like that. So now we're going to go up by the eyebrow. Just like that. So now what we're going to do, since we have our black out, we are going to do the lines where it looks like the popcorn is jumping. So let me just look at my picture, there we go, and just line, just 
just go around the lines like so. Just like that, and now I'm going to put a tiny little one here. It looks like the popcorn is popping out of the box. So I'm just going to fix this one here with a black line, and I'm going to have to fix that again. Like I said, all a learning experience. Back in with our black, just to quickly fix that. There we go, all fixed. Again, I am sorry this video takes so long, but I'd rather do it slowly so you can all see what I'm doing. Now you can leave it like that, but I am going to show you that hack that I was talking about with the box. So you grab your baby wipe like this, this is where you need to keep it, you grab your baby wipe like this, you go under, fix around that, and now it is perfectly straight and you have a straight box. So now we're going to go back in with our white, because we did accidentally go pink in our box just a tiny bit. We're going to fix that by grabbing a little bit of white again after and I just happened to put my wrist in the black so the only problem with this brush is it's not picking up on the end but it's picking up at the bottom and I don't need the bottom I need the end so you probably just have my phone then that is a game notification I do play in t I play township if you play township please comment below tell me your name and I'll add you So we're going to go back in with our brush, fix that white, there we go, so there's that. Now when I said we were fixing the outline of the box, I did mean that, so we're going to do that right now and we're going to add our face. So we're going to do, we're going to go around our box again just to make sure there is no other lines on that box. So there is that. Now we are going to do the face. So we are going to need the black again, but you might want to wipe your brush off and give your black a little bit more water just so you can use it that little bit more. So there is my black my black is probably the worst paint I have because I use it so much and there's digs and dents and you know pots and holes and everything in this so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our face just like we did with the candy floss So there is the black part of our face. No, we are not finished yet. We're going to give our... If you're a girl, you can give your face eyelashes. If you're a boy, you don't actually have to do that. But I just think it looks better. So we're going to grab our whites again with this terrible brush, which I need to replace. I'm going to make our white wet, we're going to pick up the white on the end of the brush, I'm not sure if you can see that, but we are going to do that. So now we're going to make our pupils, and we're just going to dot it in the corner, and a tiny dot under it, just so it gives it a bit of definition. And I did forget a line, so you might want to go back in the brush, just underline like that. So, this is our finished 
popcorn. So I hope you like it. Alright guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you liked the end product. If you did, please like this video and comment what you would like to see next. Maybe come up with a different fairground theme to do and I will do that for you. I'm not sure what my next video will be, but I will put in the comments below my face painting page on YouTube. I have red all in my nail. That's not very good. Um, I will put my description of my other videos in there and also my social media accounts. So thank you for watching. Bye guys.